let's talk about tracking in Cascade because this is one of the most important topics that we have to offer. And it's something I'm really proud of in the system because this functionality helps organizations tangibly measure and get better and better at achieving more of their goals week to week, month to month, year to year. So how does it work? Let's look at an example here. Increased tool capacity by about 2000 units by the end of December, 2022. When I click into that, I see a few different things and pieces of information. So I can see that I'm 40% of the way done with my overall target. If I look at this progress bar down here, that visually matches that. On the right, I can see I'm at 800 units. So this is where I have typed in how far along I am with this. And then I can see that Cascade's telling me I'm 196 units behind. Obviously the status behind is called out here prominently as well. So what does all of this actually mean? Well, what Cascade does fundamentally is it'll take your start date and your due date and automatically try to push you to make progress incrementally along that timeline so that you're 100% done with achieving your target by your due date. So that part always makes sense, right? I want to be 100% done by the time I said I would get done. So that makes sense. So where does all this other stuff come from? Well, along the way with the timeline, what Cascade is doing is it's saying hopefully roughly halfway through your timeline, you'll be roughly halfway done hitting your target. And if we look at the visual up here, that matches the timeline and logic here nicely. So I can see that we're not quite halfway, but uh, we are expecting a certain percentage that's getting close to that. And that makes sense because it's June, end of June, 2021, leading up to that due date. So if I wanna see directly where this is coming from, I can expand the sidebar to show me the goal hub and I'll go to the tracking tab. For those of us that are visual learners, this is a great place to go to see this. So now I can see visually that overall timeline I've picked, where I am today versus where Cascade expects me to be. And now I can sort of judge for myself, okay, am I on a positive trajectory here? Am I on track? Does this status actually make sense? So now this is where Cascade can be your partner and uh, we can leverage that in a positive way, but we can also override what Cascade is saying if we need to. So going back to what I said about the status, you'll see that this is calling us out as behind for now. And when we look at the chart over here, that makes sense. We're not quite at that black line where we're expected to be. But let's just say I've talked to my manager and we discuss, hey, we're only 196 units behind. It's not ideal, um, but we talked about it. There's a backlog of things, whatever context, we're gonna make up for this next month, for example. And we can actually override this status and basically tell Cascade, actually, I know that uh, you're being helpful and you're saying that it looks like we're falling behind, but I've talked to my manager and it turns out we actually are on track. So this will prompt me to manually override that status and I can say, yes, let's change that. So now you'll see right away a few key differences, right? So anything that was orange is now green. That always makes everybody really happy, right? The numbers have been unchanged, however. So we're still at 40%. Cascade is still lightly nudging us and saying, hey, we're 196 units behind. It looks like you are saying we're on track regardless of that, and that's fine, but I just want to keep you in the know on uh, those rough expectations. So overall, this is a really helpful uh, functionality to just uh, gauge one goal to the next, how we're doing, but what is the impact on the bigger picture of the plan? Well, that's where things get really unique in Cascade, and regardless of the diversity of units that you have in the system, uh, you're always going to be doing things that are measurable, because even if you don't have a an explicit unit like this, like 2000 units, for example, 2000 widgets, whatever, everything at a minimum is being tracked from zero to 100% complete. So here's an example of that, right? We wanna be literally 100% done by the due date, and we wanna get other percentages along the way, building up to that 100. So at the back end, that's how every layer works fundamentally. So that's what lets us take the average progress complete across all these different layers flowing upward through the different objectives and focus areas, even plans as a whole. And that's what lets you take the pulse of your strategy at any given time. Arguably, this is the most valuable part of what Cascade does, along with just creating a more streamlined, centralized communication platform for your strategy. So I hope this helped to give an idea of how our tracking system works.